All right, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna do a simple brake job on the Xterra. Um, so this car has a lot of rust, uh, a lot of uh, use and abuse, I guess, on this car, but it does have a lot of rust, so I gotta be mindful of the bolts and the nuts and the stuff in here. But you can see how rusty things are in here, so I think at some point I'm gonna have to change the caliper and the the sway arms, control arms, and all the fun stuff. But for now, we're gonna change the brake pads, we're gonna change the rotor, we're gonna try to, uh, you know, just to freshen up the shoes on this thing a little bit. Um, so let's get to it. Let's do this together and, you know, show you how easy it is. It's not that hard at all. Um, we just have to make sure all the bolts and nuts and everything comes out just fine. So let's do it. All right, so for those of you who don't have the tools to push the calipers in, um, sometimes a sleek clamp will work. Sometimes, you know, the actual tool will work. Um, but what I usually do is I take a flathead screwdriver and I kind of squeeze it in between the rotor right here since I'm going to change it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push you see how the angle it's in? So it's against the, this side of the rotor. So this way, I could kind of pull this and this should push the pistons in. Because, and especially this is a dual piston. So you wanna do it up and down, up and down. Um, it should push, if the pistons are not seized up, this should actually push the piston. As, and you can see, already it has play so it's already pushing the pistons in and pretty much that's it and then now we're going to open up these nuts then we're going to open up the there's two in the back that i'm going to show you guys how to open those as well we're going to use a number 14 That was really easy. So we're gonna use a number 14 to take this out. And don't lose the screws guys because that's what you need to put back in here. So we're gonna put this up right here, but be very careful with your calipers and your your, uh, your pipes so this thing doesn't fall and doesn't snap. If it does, then we're in big, big, big trouble. All right, all right, so we put the caliper up there. You see how rusty that thing is? Holy mother. So we put it up there so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fall on us, but I'm gonna um, kind of secure it there so when I try to take this brace off I'm gonna use my uh, impact wrench because these are probably seized up pretty good um, but I'm gonna try to do it without the impact wrench see if it comes off or not if it does oh well and these pads are not that bad these look actually kind of new but since I already got new shoes for this I'm just gonna put the new shoes on and my might keep these for I don't know plan B so Let's take these out and take this bracket off. Okay, let's start recording. It's started. All right, number 19 is for this one. Let's see. If you have a breaker bar, it will be ideal. If you don't have the breaker bar, um, try to, you, you can use a ratchet and a pipe.
All right, so now this pops out. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside. Now we're gonna have to get this uh, rotor out. So this rotor is kind of seized in right there. So we're gonna use a hammer to slowly get it out. So you can spray some of the blaster spray on here. Just like that, pops out. Easy. It's a beautiful break. Now we got the new one. Now the, these are slated rotors with holes. Um, when you get your brake uh, break rotors, make sure you spray them with brake cleaner because most of them come with oil all over it. You want to get that off. I already done that, so I don't need to show you guys. So it's already been cleaned off with uh, with uh, brake cleaner. Assembly is basically putting back everything together as you took it out. So um, first thing we're going to put back is this. Can I put the screws back in? Okay, yeah, that's way too awkward of an... All right, so the bracket is in. We're going to tie in the bolts. Then we're going to put the brake pads in and put the caliper back inside. All right, now we're going to now we're gonna put the brake pads on. This is easy, super easy. You're going to go in at an angle like so. And it should slide right in. It has two clips. Okay, that one's in. Same thing with this one. Has two clips. And just like anything else, the last one always gives you problems. There we go. Yay! All right, now we're gonna put the caliper back on. It should slide in because we did push the pistons in far enough. Can I tighten, uh, can I put on the bolts? How much of it is shaky? I just wanna know. What? The whole the whole video is probably shaky right now. I'm trying to keep it still. All right, guys. So this is how you change a front brake. Very simple job, should take you about 15-20 minutes on each side, or even less if you have all the proper tools. If you are doing it with the ratchet, about 15-20 minutes per side. So, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you think.